The PGF came to our attention initially by our own secretary, our Marae secretary, who congratulated uh, the Mahurehure for their application on our behalf. And um, the Mahurehure being our neighbours, you know, if, if we were doing something together, the hapu would know about it. And when I was asked, um, do you know about this? I said, I don't. We found out that an application had been made by Te Ahikomo under the guise of uh, the Mahurehure for some funding to fix our marae. And that was really disturbing for us because we pride ourselves in being able to bring about our own fixes and not for another hapu to, to make that decision for us. We were very quickly reminding our trustees that all decisions that are made at this marae are made by the hapu, by the ahika. We've always made those decisions here. We have enacted trustees in the past and it has been at the approval of the hapu. Uh, but this was not that. This had not come through the front door of the hapu hui and it was very much a backdoor deal. The locking of the gates was a very difficult choice to have to make. Um, it was a choice that wasn't made lightly. We had we had spoken to as many of our hapu um, leaders as we possibly could. We'd spoken with our trustee chair. We'd been um, engaging with our marae chair in a hope to find another way. Um, we were asking that morning, can we please pause this conversation and have a meeting to discuss it because one, there could be something good in there and we just don't know about it. But uh, our trustee chair told us that uh, absolutely not would he pause. And we were concerned that other ruatoki hapu were coming to repair our marae and it would appear as if we couldn't do it for ourselves. And so we agreed that we would lock our gates um, in the hope that we could have a meeting and discuss the issue um, more broadly and we were still refused a meeting. We see Ahika as the ones that are always here. They are always relied upon to open up, to shut down, to get ready, uh, to be prepared, uh, to round support. They are, they are, they don't wait for a meeting, that it can happen at any hour and the expectation is that you are available and so our ahika are reliable and consistent. They, they love to be here and they love to serve their hapu, um, whether it's peeling potatoes or gathering a ropu to go and support a whanau in need. Our ahika are few, we, we are few and our Ruatoki Marae Development Plan, which is what we had been talking about for a good nine months prior, was about bringing home our whānau who um, are disconnected and who want to be more connected, but they don't know how to be more connected. And so we, were, we could see the opportunity in the Ruatoki Marae Development Plan as an opportunity to bring them home to give them a paintbrush, to tell them about who they were, to show them where their kōawa was, so that their pepeha was alive in them. And the PGF was quite the opposite of that. It was taking them, it was allowing them to stay where they are and allow someone else to do the repairs and the maintenance that's required. They want to be responsible, they want to be a part of this and we were wanting to give them that opportunity. PGF did not offer that. Our next steps are, although reconnecting with our whānau that now sit opposite each other, um, aside to that priority and fixing that, uh, we want to carry on with our um, marae development plan. There's good in there. There's, 
there's connection in there. There's there's a place for all of us, whether it's at the front, at the back, in the whare, in the kitchen. There's a space for everybody. We want that. We want to be able to bring our whānau home and and be active in their hapu at their marae. He whawhai tēnei i wainanui nā kaitiaki me te hapu. We have trustees who believe that their mana is larger than ours, the hapu, we're the voice, we're, we're it. Come home, come join us, come listen in.